my name is Adi. I go by Adi G on Instagram. That's my main platform right now. Today I'm here to bring you guys this fall kind of look. It's perfect for Thanksgiving. So the twist to this is that I'm actually using Dollar General eyeshadow, foundation, concealer, translucent powder, highlighter, gloss. So um, there is a few products in here that are not part of the Dollar General line, but I do stand by these products that I'm using today. So I'm giving you guys kind of like tips and tricks along with um, the products that I stand for on a daily basis. I have used Belief Beauty before. I used it once before, so I kind of know how to work around some of the issues I come across, like the shade range of almost to the things I'm using today are affordable, except for maybe two or three things. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and slash tutorial. <laughs> on how to create this look by using belief beauty okay so first i'm going to start off by using the milk hydro grip primer all around my face and the reason why i'm using this primer today is because the belief beauty foundation says it's more of a skin finish so you want to be using a primer that's going to go along with the finish of the foundation you're using that's usually how they work best together all right so here is the belief beauty foundation bottle uh, i got the shade in soft beige they do have a few shades but their shade range is not the best i will say i'm just going to apply that on my hand first it's not too runny i have my wet and wild sponge which i also recommend and as you can see, it's like a dewy type of finish. Oh, by the way, ignore the blemish I have right here. She is not welcomed, but it looks like she's here to stay for a minute. I'm going to do two pumps now. The foundation claims to be medium to full covered. I do think it's buildable, but I don't think it is buildable enough to be a full coverage. So it's not exactly dewy, it does set a little bit, so I do like that. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like with one good application. So now that we're moving into concealer, um, I do want to mention that the concealer is the whole reason why I got inspired to try this whole line. Uh, Maria Gloria on YouTube, I will link her down below. She's great at making short and to the point videos and for the most part we agree on a lot of things that i like and she likes so i decided to give it a try because she made a video on this line and she's a super big fan of this concealer it also has that gold detailing on it and the same type of lid concept but i am in the shade fair and it's not the fairest so it does pull a little orange at first but it blends in into almost like the same shade as my skin tone so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add a little bit on the lower side of my eyes but i do like to brighten up under my eyes so i'm gonna use the fenty beauty concealer in 105 it'll be a good mix for this concealer because they have a very similar consistency This concealer is really creamy. It blends in beautifully. I wish they had more shades, but I think they only have like four or five shades. And this is the lightest, so it's not very light. I'm going to add more of the Belief Beauty concealer to blend in with that Fenty. Next, I'm gonna use their Dual Ended Contour Stick also gold detailing i just want to show you how creamy it is that's one side this is the other at first i thought that would work as a bronzer tone for me but it didn't really do much so i'm just going to use this one right here but this is a medium one they have two other shades i'm gonna go in the sides of my face i love this contour stick because it's so effortless to 
blend in it's very beginner friendly i'm a beginner when it comes to cream contour so i really liked using this product i really enjoyed it and you i do recommend using it with a sponge since you don't need to use a lot of effort to blend it out and it won't disturb the foundation under so much Right, guys so i did the other side but i do want to show you guys how i contour my nose and other things i contour as well and i do like to add a little bit of definition here oh, not there <laughs> here and then i like to go along the sides of my nose under my nose and on the sides I do like my nose to be more defined, so I do my nose contour a little harsher than most would probably prefer, but that's just my preference. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Concealer, only because the other one's not, the Belief Beauty is not going to give me too much of a highlight effect. And just lightly with the sponge, I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. And then I like to go on the center of my nose with concealer. So next up is the Belief Beauty Powder. This is a setting powder. I got the shade Translucent. And they have uh, two other shades. The other one's more of a banana yellow. The last one is more of a deeper tone. This is what it looks like. It's very finely milled, and it doesn't have a scent to it. None of these products have so far. But from the first time using this powder, it did change the color under my eyes. So I'm not going to use that directly under my eyes, but I'm going to use that for the rest of the face. As for the product goes, it's really good. Um, it does have a very slight blurring effect, and I do like that. And it um, holds up your makeup pretty well. It didn't mattify, but it didn't. Um, make my face dewy either so for under my eyes i'm going to be using what i use all the time for all of my face and all of my clients is the rcma powder i buy this on beautylish.com and it is 12 dollars for this kind of bottle the only thing i hate is the packaging because powder goes everywhere but this product is everything i've been using it for a very long time it goes well with any skin type so i really like that it also goes well with any foundation or concealer so that's basically my tried and true i don't like to bake under my eyes with a sponge i just think that's too harsh for the under eye but that's just me okay I'm also going to do some of my nose just because I don't want to lose the highlight on there. Okay, as for the rest of my face, I am going to use a Belief Beauty one. And it does have a slight um, yellow tint to it. And this is my way of baking. I basically add a thicker layer of powder with the brush. And I don't let it sit there for too long because I don't like the harsh line. And I blend it up. You see how I didn't mattify it completely? I yeah, like that. And I go very lightly with the rest of my face. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to use the Morphe Glamour Bronze in icon and i love this bronzer and i'm just gonna slightly go over it not too much because i already have a 
a slight bronze from the cream contour. Another trick I like to do is use the Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D. And I like to use this tone right here. Uh, subconscious is what it's called. It's more of a gray tone, so this one's going to be more so for the contour, not for bronzing. And I just like to add that right here to define my cheekbones a little more. I also like to drag this along my jawline because these are all places you want shade, not so much warmth, which is what bronzer does. Next, I'm going to retouch with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I believe Beauty does carry a brow gel and I probably should have grabbed one because I need one, but but I was trying to stay on a budget, so I just left it. Because once I grabbed that, I would have grabbed other things, and it goes downhill from there. Right, now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. I don't recommend Belief Beauty for the eyes. It's just a little too much of a creamy consistency. I do think it messes a little bit with uh the application of shadows so i wouldn't recommend this so much for the eyelids i do for the face it doesn't dry it's a very nice finish so i'm going to go in with my fenty beauty to prep my lids and blend that out okay so next we have the belief beauty eyeshadow palette this is called nearly nude so here are the shades there are six shades they also have other palettes so um i would recommend checking them out they're pretty cute all right guys so here are all the swatches i'm gonna go ahead and do one eye and then i'll teach you guys how to do my second one. all right guys this is what i came up with it's a very cute fall look um it'll be perfect for thanksgiving too if you guys want to grab a palette last minute this one's the one to go for so i'm going to show you guys how i completed this look so i'm gonna start off with this shader right here and i'm just gonna blend that very lightly right under my brow bone and it's not depositing too much color but it's gonna help blend so now I'm going to go into this matte shade right here. Those are really the only two matte shades on here. I'm going to blend that towards the inner side of my eye while also blending up at the same time. I like to blend my eyeshadow out on the edges. Like that. I'm going to use the Fenty concealer again I'm going to add that on my lids and I'm going to grab a little synthetic brush it's also a wet and wild brush I've had this for a while and basically um, what helps is to go up to where your eye creases and then you look up And that'll help you define like where your cut crease should go if you're hooded if you have hooded eyes like I do. And I'm just gonna bring that down. Alright, so now I'm going to use this Smashbox dual ended brush and I'm going to use this shade. The coppery shade and i'm going to add that on the center of my lid just like that blend it outwards then i'm going to take the other side of that same brush and i'm going to go in with the satin dark shade and you want to add that to the end
And basically when you've gotten to this point, I just like to go back and forth blending in colors. Just so you don't get that harsh line. Now for the star of the show. I love this eyeshadow. It does have a lot of kickback, but this one's really metallic. On this one, I am going to wet it. And I'm going to put that on the inside of the lid. And again, you want to overlap it a little bit just so it all blends together. And it's like a nice gradient. You also want to drag it just a little bit over the middle or the very edge. Just to define that cut a little more. Go back to that matte brown shade and go on the ends and bring it around just to define that cut a little bit more. And I'm going to blend that in with a darker satin shade. You also want to use that shade under your eye. Go back with that champagne shade and drag that on the inner lower lash line. Let's just add a little bit to your brow bone. And this is how you complete the eyeshadow portion. The next thing is I'm going to add eyeliner and lashes. I do recommend the Physicians Formula Eyeliner. It's a brush tip applicator this is what it looks like believe beauty does have eyeliners but they are felt tip liners and they're more of a marker i really like this one i love this liner i'm gonna add a liner and i'll be right back so this is the belief beauty volume in mascara in intense black they do have a few other ones, but I'm going to use this one today. And this mascara doesn't flake, so I do like it. What I don't like about it is it's a little bit more of a drier formula. So if you like more of a volumizing mascara, this one's it. I am going to try on these lash couture naked drama collection by kiss all right guys so this is what the lashes look like without the plastic covering and this is the name right here i don't know how to pronounce it so i'm not gonna try all right so i'm gonna put these on really quick and i'll be right back all right guys this is with mascara and lashes next i am going to do lips really quickly i'm using the perfect tone matte lip cream Radiance Beauty. This is a Walgreens brand and I love the liquid lips. This is a Hollywood hot shade. And this one's sheer only because I've used it so much. I tried to restock but they were out. And I'm just going to like tint my lips with it. Because we are going to go in with, with the Belief Beauty, <laughs> don't like this, with the Belief Beauty lip gloss. This is uh, called the Luster Shine Lip Gloss and this is Georgia Peach. Wow, I love this lip gloss love 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 i love the effect mm, it is pretty thick but it doesn't give you that sticky feel okay it's a little sticky but not too sticky it's not like gloppy so it's a really nice gloss i love it and they do have a lot of other lip glosses but this gloss just gives such a perfect effect on the lips all right so i'm just gonna fluff away whatever residue or fallout i might have on my face and the extra powder and i'm going to set it um i am more of a oily combination skin type so when i use a dewier or natural finish foundation and primer i like to balance it out with a uh, 
mattifying spray this i got this in hermosillo it's kind of like a rose water um by my understanding so rose waters are really good for mattifying so i'm just gonna spray my face really quick last but not least guys this is the belief beauty radiant finish highlighter this is called champagne kiss i love champagne toned highlighters on me so this is what it looks like i used it as you guys could see it's very cute very warm tone which is what i like in a highlighter for highlighters i like to use a smaller blending brush like an eye blending brush I just feel like you have more control of where your highlight is going and it helps you intensify where you really want it to be intensified so that's what that looks like Ooh. so right now it's going on pretty well because i wet my face but if you don't wet your face it doesn't have the same effect so i do recommend uh, putting finishing spray on before you apply this. Before I go, I want to emphasize really quickly how affordable belief beauty makeup line is so again from dollar general the foundation is five dollars the highlighter is 475 the translucent powder is five dollars the mascara is 450 contour stick 450 concealer four dollars lip gloss four dollars and the eyeshadow palette is five dollars so that's insane like the fact that they're doing this all for under five dollars is amazing like i said if you guys are in a hurry or in a budget or whatever dollar generous wits at now that's pretty cool and um i do recommend these products as long as you can work your way around them like i said with the shade range and everything but yeah like that's pretty cool so i really hope you guys enjoy this line if you guys give it a try because i certainly think it was worth my money it's worth the try guys like it really is all right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed everything as much as i did i love this line from dollar general they're actually doing a great job they're kicking butt my favorites would have to be the foundation the gloss and the highlight if you are on a budget and you want to create a fall look for the holidays or something this is the perfect palette and they do have other ones so they have a few options for you guys so if you have gotten this far into the video please go ahead and hit like and subscribe this is my second video i will tell you guys to also hit the bell that way you're notified when i upload i will try to work on a schedule that way i'm very consistent on when i upload for you guys but yeah if you have any questions let me know it'll probably help me out and give me some ideas on what videos to make for you guys and yeah that is all for today and i hope you guys enjoy Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.